Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the Blender Developer Rocket Science series. I'm your host Thomas Beck and I'd like to present you in this series some cool patches that are made outside of Blender that are uploaded to our developer.blender.org portal and that are reviewed by me, that are um, used in our productions and that are generally making our life much easier while in production. I'm sure that some of you already know my Blender developer sneak peeks and as you know there I'm always presenting some cool new Blender stuff that is currently in development and that is um, included in the new version when it comes out. But in, in this um, series here I'd like to present you some stuff that maybe will never um, make it into Blender, but most of the time I'm sure that sooner or later we'll see those features in Blender. So that's an early, early, early Blender developer sneak peek. So um, have fun! In this first episode I'd like to do some motion graphics. And for motion graphics you very often have uh, the need for cool keyframe-ish uh, animations that are that are bouncing or easy in and so on. And Blender already has some very good uh, Bezier curves that you can use for that. But there is a patch that is really much, much cooler and enhancing those curves. And you can find it, let me look where it is. There it is. That's the Robert Penner easing equations for F curves. And this patch is already in our development portal since that's so that's so a shaming. Since April April 20, 2010. So it's four years already. Um, and I hope that uh, DNA, who created this patch, is not too sad about that because it's so cool and I'd like to have it in there really soon. I already wrote something for all those that like to read it. Just head over to this developer.blender.org T22084 and you can have a look at it, comment on it and push it further. So let's go to our Blender here. To show you what is added and what Blender currently uh, provides, um, I prepared a simple scene that you are seeing here. Let me hit Alt A to show you what it does. And that's really fairly easy. You see some uh, shape key animation there like this, it's the typical Blender Bezier curve is doing this animation, then a circle is, is floating from above to the center and then it's heading to the right top, but, uh, right top corner and then scaling up until we are seeing only white and when we are uh, setting our uh, passport to alpha to 1, then you'll see how it's looking later on, like this. It's a bit hectic, but who cares. Before we look at the patch now, let's have a short overview over the scene, over the animation scene that we got here. And that's really nothing fancy at all. We got a plane here that got a shape key on it uh, that moves the upper edge to the lower edge of the screen. Um, then we got a circle that is moving from uh, top to bottom and then um, moving to the ro upper right corner. And when, it, um, when it's there, then it's scaling up until it covers the whole camera. So it's in fact really easy and really boring. To see now why the patch is useful, I have to show you why, well, how we uh, would 
uh, do this kind of scene when we would use Blender normally. So we would look at the animation and say, okay, that's quite fine, but that's a bit boring. So we would add a third keyframe there to make this curve a bit steeper, like this. And then you would have a very fast movement in the middle and a slow movement at the start and the end. So look at this now. And you see that's much better and much more dynamic than before, right? And after we would have done that, we would say, okay, but maybe we could bounce a bit when we are heading this edge here. So we would take this one and make some small bounces there. And we would zoom in, make that even better because that's not good like it's now. Something like this, then this, and then this, something like this. And so we would continue until we are satisfied with this movement, right? That's a bit fast, <laughs> I have to admit that. But that's not the point. I just wanted to say, okay, we would have uh, put a lot of work into this just to make it bounce or just to make it a little bit faster or something like that. And that's exactly where the patch come in, comes in. So let me just undo this. Okay, I'm done. And this one too. Go away. Now the undo buffer is empty. So let's do it like this. Save it. And then look at the patch opportunities. The patch adds some new interpolation modes here. You are already familiar with the constant, the linear and the Bezier, but there are now the back, the bounce, the circular, cubic, elastic, exponential, quadratic, quartic, quintic and sinusoidal. So we got plenty of new options here and we're asking and you are asking, I think, what are those options all? And to see what all those options do are doing, um, I'd like to, to show you the bounce effect first. So let's select that. And then you see here are new options appearing. The easing option is one of them. And let's just play it back like that and then look at the options, okay? So when we are looking what is do what is our plane doing now, then you'll see, okay, he's bouncing already and that with only one keyframe. And the cool thing is that when I'm altering the keyframes now, then the bounce will follow. It will bounce faster or it will bounce slower, like this. And this will work even when we are doing this in only eight frames or seven frames but it's barely seeable, right? But that's really cool. So what is the option that we got here, the easing option? When you have an ease out, then he will bounce at the end. When you have an ease in, then he will bounce at the start and then finish his movement. But you always have the possibility to make the ease in and out and then he will start bouncing in and then bouncing out. So this is maybe not that cool when you got a bouncing effect, the ease in and out, but there are effects that really um, are using this and are really cool with this. So let's keep that with the ease out. And let's increase it a bit like this. 
And then let's see what we are capable to do with the new options and this ball that is uh, coming into view after several frames. The ball is doing very few. It's just coming down, then up, uh, then moving up to the right corner, and then scaling up. So it's all in all pretty boring, right? But we got a new patch, and when we got a new patch, then everything will be fancy. And so we have to fancyize this ball. <laughs> and for that I'd like to um, do the location keyframes first. So let's add a new interpolation mode here. Maybe let's do a, a quintic move and an ease in. So he's slow at the start. No, that's not cool because we are seeing it too late. So he, let's do knees out. Then he'll slow down and then moves up. Let us finish the first bouncing effect before the um, the ball comes in. Something like this. Yeah, something like this. Right. So we got our ball now slowing down and then this movement is still pretty boring, so we select this keyframe again and change the interpolation mode to maybe uh, elastic. And then he will do something like this. He will move, he'll move further and then go up. So with very few, key, uh, few keyframes and exactly the same keyframes as we started, we got a completely new motion here. So this patch will help you in so many ways. When you are um, playing with it, you, you will see that. So let's now look at the ball. This small ball that is scaling up. And for this, we have to make those X and Y scale visible. Um, those keyframes are there and we'd like to improve those a bit by selecting the first one as always and then do something like no elastic I think is not appropriate here let's do something like um, circular so it's starting starting slowly then very fast circular but not ease and and ease out only ease out and ease in so it's first expanding to the left and then to the bottom But it's still not quite there, I think. Let's do something like this. Yeah. So, as you saw, with very few keyframes, key one new patch, and a bit changing the interpolation mode and easing here. We got completely new and interesting animations done. So at this point, I'd like to stop in the name of love, no, <laughs> with my presentation. Um, and I hope you had a little bit of fun with it. You learned something new. I would really be glad if you would comment on this video, if you would comment on the patch to tell us what is good or what should be better. And apart from that, 
we would be very happy if you could spread all those videos, the Blender developer sneak peeks, uh, the um, rocket science series, uh, comment on them so we got a little bit more feedback. If you'd like to, you could add us on Twitter, on Google Plus or on Vimeo. We're really happy to see all those uh, comments on all of our videos and I hope to see you next time. Keep on blending and bye bye. See ya.